Hi, my name is Massimo Banzi and I like to make things. Welcome to another Arduino tutorial video. Today we're going to build an electronic version of the Magic 8 Ball. So this is a simple device with an LCD screen that provides a different answer every time it's being shaken. So let's try. Look at this. 8 Ball says Outlook good. So how does this project all work. We have a sensor, which is the tilt sensor over here, that contains a small ball sitting on, a, on two contacts. When the tilt sensor is vertical, the ball sits on the contacts, closes the circuit and acts like a push button that's been pressed. When you shake the board, the ball bounces off the contacts and open the circuits and it's almost like you, it's like when you release your finger from a button. The data from the sensor goes into the Arduino and there's a software that detects that you're shaking the Arduino and picks a random answer and displays it on this LCD display. It's fairly simple to connect an LCD screen to Arduino and this one in particular because it's a character-based LCD so it contains already electronics on the LCD module itself that can receive data from the Arduino in terms of um, character codes and then display the characters on the LCD screen in the right position. Let's have a look at the circuit. So we have the LCD module here. We are bringing four wires from four Arduino pins to the LCD modules. Those four wires carry the data from the Arduino to the LCD screen. Then we have an extra two pins connected to the Arduino board that are used in the communication between the Arduino and the LCD screen. Then we power the LCD screen. Uh, you see there's a red and a black wire coming from the plus and minus rail. Uh, then there is this potentiometer. The potentiometer here is used to generate a voltage between 0 and 5 volts that is applied to the contrast pin. So if I start turning this potentiometer, you can see that the contrast on the display changes. So we have to tweak it until the value makes the display work properly. So this can be tweaked depending also on the angle that you watch the LCD. So as I said, data, a couple of control lines, power, contrast, and this is all we need in order to connect to the LCD module. Here we have the tilt sensor is wired up exactly like a regular push button. So we have one leg of the tilt sensor is connected to a resistor to ground, the other one is connected to 5 volts, and the place where the resistor and the tilt sensor connect is where we connect a wire that goes to an input on the Arduino board, then the Arduino can read if the tilt sensor is connected or not. So when I shake, like this, Arduino detects the shaking and changes the answer on the screen. So to recap, we have a tilt sensor connected to the Arduino, and we have six wire coming from the Arduino and connecting to the LCD screen. The data that goes from the Arduino to the LCD screen is actually represented as 8-bit numbers, but we, are on, we <coughs> wire up only four wires and we use a special mode in the LCD displays that carries 8-bit data at four bits at a time. So using the LCD would require you to write quite a lot of code, but Luckily, there is a liquid crystal library inside the Arduino uh, platform that allows you to control this class of uh, character LCD uh, displays in a very simple way. So now we're going to have a look at the code and we're going to figure out uh, how everything works. Let's look at the code. We start by including the liquid crystal library. So we use Pound sign include liquidcrystal.h. This can be done actually by 
selecting appropriate import library menu from the IDE. And then once we have included the liquid crystal library into our code, we have to tell the library which one are the pins that are connected to the LCD. So we specify 12, 11, 5, 4, 3, and 2. These are the pins that we're using here to convey the four pins of data, then the RS and uh, RW pins that are used in the handshaking and in the communication between the Arduino and the LCD. Once we have done that, we are ready to use the LCD screen. So we define another constant, switch pin equals six. This switch pin, uh, this pin number six, is where we connect the uh, tilt sensor. Switch state, again, is a variable uh, used to store the state, the current state of the tilt switch. And then we have another variable called pre-switch state. And the fact that we need to uh, store the current and the previous value of a certain uh, switch will become clear later. Then we have one another integer variable called reply. So let's look at the setup function. We open the communication with the LCD screen by using lcd.begin, and then in the begin function, we specify 16 and 2 to tell the library that the LCD that we are using has two lines of 16 characters each, because there are many different types of LCD screens like this. So when we initialize the communication, we have to specify the size of the LCD display. Then we use pin mode to tell Arduino that switch pin is an input. And then we use lcd.print to write the first line at the top that says ask v. Then we use another interesting function of the LCD um, library, lcd.setCursor. SetCursor allows us to specify each column and row we, are, we want to start printing from. So I can move the cursor anywhere on the LCD display by specifying the position. With the last line with the, in the setup, we print the second line on the screen. So lcd.print magic eight ball. So to recap, in the setup, we're basically opening the communication with the LCD screen, preparing the pin, a switch pin to be an input, and then we print on the two lines of the display ask the magic eight ball. Then let's get into the loop. So the first line in the loop stores the current state of the switch into switch state by doing a digital read on the pin. And then we say, if switch state is different than previous switch state, and this, func this, this if statement, it's used to figure out if the state of the button has recently changed because we want to provide a new answer on the screen only when the state of the switch changes. And the state of the switch changes only when I shake the circuit and the ball inside the tilt switch jumps up and down. So if switch state and previous switch state are different, then we can move on and we can say, if switch state equal equal low, then actually generate a new reply. So we start from clearing the display by using lcd.clear. Then we generate a random number between zero and seven that gets stored into the reply variable. Then we set the cursor to zero, zero. So the top left corner of the screen, we say, we do LCD print eight ball says. Then we set the cursor on the second line of the display by doing LCD set cursor 0, 1. And then we use an instruction called switch that basically allows us to run different parts of code depending on the value of a specific variable. In this case, we switch based on the value of the reply variable. So, if the number that was generated randomly is zero, we are going to lcd.print on the screen the, the word yes. And then we have a statement called break 
that tells Arduino that we're done executing the code in that section and we want to exit the switch statement. And then for every particular value that the uh, variable can assume, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, and each one of them corresponds to a message. So we have unsure, ask again, outlook good, no. Once we are done going through the switch statement, the screen will have an answer. And then at the very bottom of the code, we have one line that says prev switch state equals switch state. So we, the current state of the switch, switch state, is not current anymore. At the end of your code, that's old. It's, it's the previous state. So we store it in previous state and we go back to the beginning where the first line is taking a new value into switch state. And, and this allows us to detect every time the value changes. We got to the end of the code and this is the end result. So I, I'm going to press the reset button so we can start the code from the beginning. So you see, ask the magic at eight ball. So I'm going to shake this and the magic eight ball says yes. So I have to ask a question. Was this video cool? Yes. The magic eight ball says yes. So I think this is a very good conclusion for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, you have to build this tutorial, you have to hack it, and you have to share the results on the internet because Arduino is you.